We'll see if they have it. I don't know. Sorry, Australia. You could join your Zoom meetings as well. Store. So yeah, we're back at Disney Springs again. We were here earlier this week, but we really wanted the Jane Goodall gift with purchase. And plus there's a ton of shops here that I want to look at. I want to get a spirit jersey. I wanted the Disney stores. So we're back again. I have to go to the restroom. Escalators, escalators, escalators. Aw, eels. You having a good time, Ross? Always. I have my ears on again. They were 30 bucks. I'm going to wear them. Nailed it. I'm in a shop now called Disney Style and check this out. They have a spirit jersey that's popcorn themed and all these little things. It looks like a popcorn bucket, but then the back looks really cute too. It has Walt Disney World and popcorn and then the bottom's like a bucket and I like need this so badly, but they don't have a medium. They have a small. I bought the popcorn shirt. More like I bought her the popcorn shirt. Small was good enough. I was looking for a medium though. Ross, you should go on the train. I don't think I can fit on that train. You can fit. Maybe the caboose. So yeah, we're going to the Lego store now and then we're gonna go shopping for some stuff. Our main mission is to get this Jane Goodall gift with purchase. I thought the main mission was going shopping. Hopefully they still have the gift with purchase. There's like yeah. a really long line outside. It's probably like 50 people. I'm sure it's moving fast, but it's just kind of kind of nervous. All right, so now we're in line at the Lego store. I tried to ask one of the employees at the exit if they still have the gift with purchase. And he was like, I don't know, probably, maybe. Good luck. <laughs> It was really weird. We'll see if they have it. I don't know. It was like, well, it just started yesterday, so we might. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Guys, enjoy. All right, so we're just kind of Lego store, and I already see one of the ones I've been looking at. I think this one's really underrated. Uh, fun functions. It's supposed to have different ideas. I love that it comes with all these new gear pieces. It's super cool. Look at that, like an organ that spins. This is really cool. Yeah, all the motion in yeah, here. So I'm hoping it comes with some pretty good pieces. It's only got one big gear, three of these gears, some other ones. So I think this is really something to look forward to, especially if you're trying to learn gear work and stuff like that. Yeah. I like this one. You can spin and the fish kind of spin around. That's wild. So that's cool. That's one to keep an eye on. I might come back. I'm never drawn to these, but this one actually looks yeah, really good. It's super really underrated. Yeah, very helpful. I think the other one I heard a lot of people talking about was this one. Apparently, like you can get like stats for each little monster, have a fight or something. It looks cute. It's a fun little one to get. Aww. I can't remember if this one just came out. Um, I know it just came out this year at least, but this is really cool. I like the little mech Voltron thing. It's a fun gift, yeah. stocking stuffer kind of thing. It's neat. Sorry, Australia, but we got plenty of Woody and Bo Peeps uh -huh. here. Yeah, there's tons. That's actually kind of crazy. We've been thinking if we need it to get the gift with purchase, we might grab it. Yeah. Ooh, when we were here on release day, they ran out of these, or at least there weren't any left on the shelves. Maybe there were more in the back, but they have tons of these here. I think we might pick this one up once we get back to Austin. Okay, so a lot of our friends are into Technic, and it's made us want to look at these as well as Speed Champions. <laughs> There's a lot of really cool ones. That comes with a chainsaw. That's cool. Oh, wow. I haven't noticed that. I never even look at these. I like these ones. That one looks like a really fun RC car, but a good way to get your leg out dirty. Oh yeah, yeah, don't do that. The last time we were here, they didn't have that set, but they do now, which is really nice. I actually really like that one, as well as the bigger message board down there. They're both great, I totally recommend them. And then up here is like the most expensive set that I want right now, probably Ariel's Underwater Palace. It just looks fantastic. Like I love all the details in it and all the mermaids. They look so cute. It would be kind of fun to have like an Ariel themed area in the Lego City. And I know I keep saying that with every different theme, but that would actually be really cute to include. Oh wow, and then this one here. I don't think I've seen this one yet. This is this is really cute. Wait, so they have all the different lettering on there with like little printings like the crown and the sparkle. But yeah, these are really cute. I hadn't seen these yet. Yeah, I showed you these online, but this is kind of cool seeing them in person. I was thinking about getting these for a luggage home, but I'm a, I'm worried it'll all just like fall off. Yeah, so steal it. Not very practical. Yeah, but I guess it's it's a little bit cheaper of a way to get these uh, the different letters printed. I think it came in one of those other sets that was forty dollars, but we found it at Walmart for like twenty. So yeah, they have a bunch of them. I would keep an eye on this one. Once this one gets cheaper, I would jump on it just for the letters. So that's worth it. And then Spice Girls over here. I actually have this one already. I haven't built it or reviewed it or anything yet, but it has arrived in the mail and I cannot wait. I kind of want to get multiple and do like a Cheetah Girls thing. This one looks like Snape. Those print things are incredible. These two are kind of plain, you know, but what else would they have done? Like they're still very iconic. In other news, someone just complimented my Scooby-Doo lounge fly. Pretty cute. And then over 
in Friends World. We have that one, this one. I kind of want to get this one, but I feel like it'll appear at Costco. Also, it looks like this guy's wearing Mickey ears. So is that a hidden Mickey? No, Maybe. It's just a... Well, it looks like it though. <laughs> it's a hidden Mickey. I don't care what you say. We're at Disney World. And then this display, I feel like this wasn't here before. Wait, this is so cute with all the different like ribbon displays behind them. I actually really like that. And then more stadiums. I, I'm not into this. I know some people are. I'm also not a soccer fan, so that's probably why. And they're definitely impressive, and I like the accuracy, but I, I feel like, it, yeah, it's targeted to a very niche group. But that's not a bad thing. I think there should just always be stuff like this happening, you know? Yeah, just I love that. because it's not a good seller doesn't mean it's not a good set. The dragon outside. Oh, recognized from the lug, I guess. The lug made this here. That's so cute. And then the dragon from outside. This is really adorable. I love that. Okay, we just struck gold, I think. There's so many things here that I haven't seen. I don't think I've ever seen this mini oh, fig accessory pack. That came out like a year or two ago. I haven't seen it. We don't have Monkey Kid in our store, so I never really get to see it. We got this because we needed a, uh, I wanted free shipping, so I just threw that in once. Yeah. Um, and they got a lot of the uh, hot troopers, but no clone pilots. So I don't see any. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Ooh, there she is. The reason we're board. here. She is so cute. I love this. All of the International Women's Day type gift with purchases. They make me so happy. Last year was Amelia Earhart and I love that set. This time we get some little chimpanzees in there. There's a pencil case, so maybe you'll stop losing all your markers all the time. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can never find them, honestly. I'm surprised they still have some of the Lunar New Year sets here. Oh wait, what is this? Oh yeah, Claire Whoa. was talking about this one. This one apparently, even on the resale market, was insane. This it's is hard so to find cool. it. Yeah, it's a really cool one. I like all the little like the dishes there that are printed. The, the cup there with the koi fish, super super cool. Wow. It's kind of a kind of a treat to get to see it in person. The rocking horse down there. Yeah. Rocking lion. <laughs> Look at the counting oh, yeah. thing. Prepare for kindergarten, y'all. Gotta prepare. And then we passed on this one, but it does look like a lot of fun. Made it over to Creator Expert World. Down here we have all of the art sets. Elvis is new, Batman's new. I haven't seen too many people buying Elvis, but it looks pretty neat. I don't know. I mean, it, I feel like it's more for a niche audience. And then we got the pickup truck, some modulars. These are great. I love that truck. We passed on it, but I'm still thinking about getting it eventually. It looks like a really fun build. That's was pretty new. The vest was cool. I like it. Every time I see it, I mean, I know it's supposed to be like goggles and a helmet, but I just keep seeing a hermit crab. Tons of the shoe boxes. I love that. The Adidas Superstar. That art's pretty cute too. And then now we're back to the Pabbers. We were here recently and they didn't really have anything that I was looking for in terms of tiles, like zero tiles. They had some of these, but that's not what we're into. It was kind of disappointing. I didn't really see much that we could use for the city. And I was really excited because this is such a big pick a brick wall. Yeah, this is the saddest I've ever seen it. And then I'm pretty sure with these, I think they're just like leftover pieces that fell on the floor. I'm not sure. It's definitely a mix of everything else on the wall. So I think they're just 30 pieces. I am not actually sure. Are you on the wall yet? No. Rip. Man, look at that. If I buy this mug, then I'm a brick master. So we're over in Monkey Kid World, and I really want to get the City of Lanterns down there, but I think it'd be kind of a pain to bring it home. I'm not sure. It looks so cool, though, on display here. Seeing it in person, just wow, it's phenomenal. Like, it looks really great online, but man, does it look so much better in person. So much detail. I really like the silliness of like this set. You know, there's like bunnies flying, a giant bunny mech, <laughs> bunny robots, giant carrot rocket ship. It's ridiculous. A lot of cool stuff going on. I like this one up here. Yeah. The tank, it's so funny. Like, it's a ramen noodle bowl. They're so creative. And then they also have mosaics of all the princesses. These are so cute. They have this really cool display here too. Uh, I didn't see this last time, but it's kind of cool. It's like an imperial occupation of, of Tatooine. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of detail here. That's so most likely Cantina down there. Non-discountable, rip. Non-discountable, rip. Okay, so something I really want to get soon is the Mindstorms Robotics. Maybe this one, maybe another one, but like I really like this one because it comes with so much in it and all these different motors and such. It would be really cool to start doing robotics on the channel and like coding up some cool things, an automatic ball launcher for Ladybird. Like that one, right? 
Yeah. Use that ball launcher and throw it, see if the dog gets it. Yeah, that'd be cute. So far we've picked up the Chippendale Brickheads, one of the creator sets or like the classic sets with all the motors, and then two base plates so we can get the Jane Goodall. I really like that one. I'm so excited. We got everything we want, Ross. Lego, 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 Lego. And we still see a bunch of the good purchases behind the counter, so we're good. We're good. We were definitely stressing a little bit and the guy outside was not reassuring. He was like, we might have them, we might not, sorry. Y'all, we done messed up. I thought it was a 65 limit to get it. It's 120. I, I was like, there's no way. <laughs> I don't know where I saw that. I had that in my head for some reason, but I think we're gonna get the Ariel Palace one. It looks pretty cute. That's 90. 20 and 30, so that's 50 plus 90 is 140, so that's too much. We could put back Chip and Dale. Yeah, put back Chip and Dale. Okay, we'll do I'll that. Okay. R.I.P. Chip and Dale. We'll just get it when we get home. Now we have this one, the classic set with all the gears, and a Disney princess. I think I'm more excited about this than Emily is. <laughs> I think so, yeah. They're good. Like if you're looking for a fun set, the Disney Princess sets are They're like They're so detailed. Awesome. It's great. Wow, there's a lot of great elements in here. They have like all the, like a, What's that called? Iridescent kind of oh, heads? Cool. Iridescent, get it? Iridescent. Like Mickey? Yeah. Yeah. We got our Lego? Mission successful. <laughs> Alright, so check this out, y'all. Look what we got. Eee! So this is the gift purchase. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love this. I almost want to get another one yeah, to keep one in box, you know? Kinda, we have that for Amelia Earhart as well. Yeah. Eek, I'm so excited. Maybe if we order that Funky Kid set, we can yeah. keep that one in box. Also, we're back over with these guys again. Check it out. Chewy, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's so thick. One more look, one more look. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this is so cute. The oranges, Walt Disney World. Aww. Orange, you glad you could come see this? Isn't it crate? Wow. I know that they're trying to catch me right under. You're ridiculous, Ross. This is insane. So these ears there are $1,000, and those ears are $750. But then those there, I don't know why, but those are $225. Oh, they're leather. Lady Bird would love this. She would also destroy it. Passing Ghirardelli. Oh, it smells so good. You can actually get a free sample there. It's like a little caramel thing. So if you're ever just like craving chocolate and you don't want to buy any, <laughs> you can go to Ghirardelli. It's about 1.30 now and we're heading over to the House of Blues, but it's on the way other side of Disney Springs. So we have about like a 15 minute walk over there. So we're just gonna like shop around. I don't know, there's like a Marvel store Ross wants to go to. There's a Star Wars store. We're just kind of having a little adventure today. Found the Star Wars store, Galactic Outpost. Let's check it out. It's 1.20. Oh yeah. wow. You could join your Zoom meetings as yeah. Boba Fett. All right, everyone's favorite Star Wars merch. Snack and Grogu. <laughs> What's he eating this time? He's still eating his calamari. Looks like he's eating a frog and a waffle. We're so excited. <laughs> what a weird toy. I told Ross he should join his Zoom meetings as Boba Fett and he's actually kind of into it. So we'll see what happens. Everywhere I go, there's no shortage of Lando Calrissians, but at least they have Hora Singh. I haven't seen that one. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, time for the Marvel store. That's, cute. that's pretty cool. And in the lounge flies, I really like that. I don't think they'll let you take that home. <laughs> I think that counts as a weapon when you're flying. It's a shield. I want it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So who would win in a fight, uh, Groot or Grogu? Let us know down in the comments. We're gonna check out the M&M store. It's massive, look at that. <laughs> oh wow, M&M's. You know, I normally like to smell candy, but this is a little too much. I don't like how it smells here. The shirts are really cool. So it says like M&M's at Disney Springs. They have these little things shaped as mouses. I feel like this is the kind of store where you buy stuff for your friends when you go home. You know, like there's not a lot of stuff that like I personally need, but I would get this as gifts. There's so much color. Whoa, I like that shirt there, the rainbow. That's pretty cool. It says it smells. It smells. There's a giant wall of M&M. Check it out. This is insane. Whoa. Peanut flavors. Is there normal? Milk. I guess that's normal. Going back to the uh, galactic outpost. He wants a Boba Fett helmet. There they are. No, we don't. Those are currently open. Ross is inspecting the box. I'm I didn't even realize it was Black Series. That's so cool. All right, so Ross got his Boba Fett helmet. He's excited. You're no good to be dead. So yeah, this was a really successful trip. I got my Popcorn Spirit jersey and I got a bunch of stuff in the parks yesterday. He got his helmet in the parks the other day. Red five.
<laughs> we got a lot of good stuff. But yeah, I'm glad that we could come back to Disney Springs for another day. Getting that gift with purchase was really awesome. And I can't wait to build that. Hopefully we can get another one so that we can keep one in box and then build the other. Like I just think that would be a good idea. <laughs> Wrapped it up. That's Ross wrapping up the video.